Canva's just released their new Magic Studio Suite and I wanna take you through all of the tools. I wanna to show you how to use them and answer any questions that you may have, so drop them below and I'll be sure to get back to you shortly. Hello, my name is Marty Englander from Brainy Automations, where I teach businesses how to automate their business tasks without knowing how to code or program. And I do this all through micro-sized, bite-sized video training that can get you up and running within 20 minutes. So whether you're trying to auto-create blog posts and social media and YouTube videos, you can learn how to do all of this inside brainyautomations.com. To start things off, you want to head over to the Magic Studio option and you'll see an introductory video all about all of the different Magic Studio tools. But we're gonna forget about that because I'm gonna show you everything here. Let's go ahead and start off with Magic Design. A little drop down shows here and in the input field, I'll go ahead and type Fiery Fitness Gym Poster and do enter. It's now using AI to mix and match designs according to our search. And here's a bunch of designs. We can then change the category Category, and even the media but what's really cool here is that we can actually use existing media to dictate the sort of design so we can select this and then do see results incorporated one of our designs and created these different styles if we scroll down you can also see all of the fitness designs for gyms that we previously asked it to create moving on to the magic design for presentations it's giving you some instructions but we'll go ahead and just delete these in the left hand side in the input field we'll say a vision deck for my interior business and once again it's using ai to start the design process so we'll do see all and choose a design that you like the look of. You've also got all of these designs as well that you can use, pretty cool. So whilst we're in this presentation, we can click on the Canva Assistant, click on Magic Write, and say Introduction for my interior design business, and do Generate. And then it will create some text for us to use, but that's a bit long, so we can click on it, click on Magic Write, and we can do Summarize. That's a bit shorter, and it looks a bit better. You can also have it continue writing, rewrite stuff, more, make it more fun, and even fix spelling. We'll move on to the magic switch tool, which is found in a design in the top navigation bar. I'll do translate, so we select a language. Let's say we want it in French. And we have a choice, we can translate it into a copy of this design, or we can just change this design. We'll leave this unticked, because we'll create a replica of this design. We'll open the presentation, and now all the text is in French. It does create some styling issues, so you'll just quickly edit it and make the amendments needed. Moving on to the magic design for video, and now it's gonna ask you to upload your videos or images. I don't really have many videos in my Canva account, so I'll just use some random images found here. And you'll describe in plain English what sort of theme you want the video to follow. So I'm just gonna say scary video to promote a haunted business. Okay, so not quite what we wanted, but with a bit of tweaking, you'll probably get some better results. After all, these features are brand new, so they're still working on them. We'll now cover some of the magic effects. Because I've already covered most of this in another video, I'll quickly go through them all. We'll select on our image and do edit photo. If we select magic grab, this will select the main focus of the image and then move the person out of the way. It will also use a form of content aware to fill in missing things behind the person. Clicking on grab text will separate the text from objects, just like that. Now onto magic edit. This is quite cool. So the first thing that we can do is we will highlight the outline of my top and then we will fill in the rest of the top. Press continue and I'll say change to a suit shirt. And now it's created four variations of different suit shirts. Go ahead with this one. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and check out the morph tool. So we'll add some text to the page. I'll then change the font to, let's just say Oswald, just so it's nice and thick. Then under apps, we'll type in morph and it will come up with magic morph and select magic morph. Then you want to make sure the object is selected and it will change it to something like fire. Then do magic morph. It's now generated 
different texts. So we'll just open these all up. And whilst these three aren't amazing, this one's much better. And you can see we've now got some cool looking texts. You can also do this with shapes, apps, magic morph, and this time we'll just say water. Sometimes it gets a bit weird, but it's generated these three results. And now we have an element with water in it. And that was the bulk sum of Magic Studio. Whilst there are a few more tools in there, I've already created a video that I'll link below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.